name is Mary Zergat and I'll be volunteering at the Sisters of St. Joseph Welcome Center for three years. Um, the Sisters of St. Joseph Welcome Center is located in the Kensington neighborhood of Philadelphia and uh, they provide different resources um, for immigrants new to the Philadelphia area. So they provide uh, computer classes, um, English language classes, citizenship classes, and help with the naturalization process. St. Joseph's volunteers uh, who go to the Welcome Center team teach either um, English language classes or citizenship classes to adult immigrants. Um, the thing that I most enjoy about serving uh, at the Sisters of St. Joseph Welcome Center is uh, the relationships that I've been able to form with the students and the sisters um, who go there every week. One thing that I didn't really expect to learn um, that I did learn from going to the Welcome Center is how fluid communication can be because when you're an English speaker um, in a room where no one else speaks English, um, it's, it can be difficult to communicate, but if, if both parties are you know, interested and really want to talk to each other and gain from each other, then there are ways, like, you can, there are charades and there are, you can, you know, talk, talk it out and really figure out what you're trying to say to each other. Um, and, you know, if you're, if you're really interested, if you really care, then you can bridge the gap in communication. Uh, my name is Jackie Dixon and I volunteer at the Welcome Center. I chose the Welcome Center because I'm very familiar with the area. So last year I volunteered in Kensington and I wanted to kind of re-immerse myself within the community. What I like about the Welcome Center is it's more interactive based and you get to work with your students. And sometimes it's one-on-one -on -one or sometimes you have a bigger classroom. But the best part is, is like you can see progress within their learning and each week they get better and better. And Coming back from winter break was possibly one of the best moments because all the students remembered me and my co-teacher and it just like really brought a smile to my face to know that we made that much of an impact. So with the Welcome Center they also off offer citizenship classes so it's where students can go and kind of practice for their exam to become an American citizen and with these types of classes you get to know more about your students and more about their backgrounds and it gives you a different perspective on immigration because it seems as if it's like something negative and it has a negative impact, impact on our country but the Welcome Center kind of takes these immigrants in and makes it kind of like a safe haven for them. My name is Dan, um, I'm a sophomore here at St. Joe's and I serve at the Welcome Center. Some of the people I serve that I just think inspires me on a daily basis to show up um, they wake up at like 4 in the morning to go to their jobs and then by the end of the day around 7 o'clock they come to the Welcome Center to then take a two hour language class. Um, and I just think that's absolutely incredible that they're able to persevere through the hardships that they face and work so hard in order to learn English and to really assimilate into the culture that um, we've created here. So I think something that's particularly impacted me um, about my service site is just seeing the reasons that the adults continue to show up to service. Um, and to learn English. Um, a lot of their children are at local elementary or middle schools and they really want to develop an English language ability so that they can communicate with teachers, the students' friends, family, um, and people in the community. And so I think just that dedication, not only to learning English for themselves, but for their family members and so that the people around them can benefit is something that I find just so inspiring. I think something that I've learned from working at the Welcome Center and teaching English is just to appreciate diversity um, in all of its forms. We have students from all over um, the world and people at different uh, levels and have different interests in learning different things um, for different reasons. And I think just appreciating where each of those people are coming from um, and working with them where they're at is something that I've learned is really important. My name's uh, Sister Kathy. I'm at the Sisters of St. Joseph Welcome Center in Kensington. And we are so grateful to have uh, the St. Joe students with us um, at our night classes during the year. Uh, both semesters have been wonderful. Um, our immigrant friends uh, are so grateful to have uh, these young people come in and help them with um, English as a second language as well as citizenship. And truthfully, we could not do the program without you. We couldn't because we just don't have uh, the volunteers. So the fact that you come as many nights as you come, we are so grateful. Don't be nervous about going or don't be concerned that what you're doing is not gonna have like the proper impact. Um, I think whenever I go to like a new site or the, my first day at the Welcome Center, I was just so nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to properly teach my students and I wasn't gonna be able to properly serve them. 
um, in the way that the, the workers there want it. And I think what I find is that the people there that you're serving and the clients and the other volunteers just appreciate the work you're doing so much. Um, and so to be nervous about what you're doing, really there's no reason to be because regardless of the outcome that you have or um, the impact that you make, you're going to make an impact. And so I think that's just something to keep in mind regardless of like what site you're serving at.